New things are definitely very scary things. And I think for me, that new scary thing is being on video. Uh, for the longest time, I have just, you know, been really terrified of being on video. And then, um, you know, last year I started the Infodump files with uh, the great Becca Laurie Hector. Check her out on Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, she's all over. Um, but she convinced me to go on video to do the video form of our podcast. And then that started to get me thinking more about being on video. But I think what stopped me, I was still scared at all these questions in my mind about how this is going to look, you know, just from an executive functioning perspective. How am I going to even record these videos and put them online? As silly as maybe that sounds to, to some people. But then I realized, oh, wait a second, I can just record it on Zoom. I've, I use Zoom all the time to record um, so many of our the podcasts that I do, all, all my podcasts that I'm a part of, all three. And I was like, oh, that's easy. I can just do that. So then, okay, kind of that release, release that anxiety. And then I started having um, more questions about judgment, um, thinking about, you know, how am I going to look on video? I, you know, but then I, then I started thinking, well, I never really care how I'm perceived, but by my looks anyway. So why am I making uh, the video thing a big deal? And then I just, then I think maybe even the bigger judgment thing was what if people don't like what I have to say or what if they, you know, um, and they have negative criticism because, you know, I'm sensitive and I don't necessarily always handle, you know, negative criticism so well. Like externally, you won't necessarily be able to tell, but internally it just kind of eats me up inside. So then I started to think about, okay, well, you've, you have all these positive coping strategies when things get tough, you know, being an entrepreneur for eight years, I've had to certainly learn those things. Uh, there's been some great times, but some very not so good times in those eight years. Um, but, you know, thankfully at a place now with Autism Personal Coach where there's a lot of good times. So then I started thinking, okay, I, I can use those positive coping strategies. Um, you know, I can connect with the person that, you know, might have a disagreement of what I have to say, and we can have a conversation and maybe, you know, maybe, you know, learn from them where they're coming from um, and not, you know, not to judge them um, from, from for their perspective. And then if it still doesn't necessarily work out, then I can always go back to all those strategies that work great for me. Um, and then I guess I started thinking the last kind of big question out of all this is what if I don't do this? What if I don't go on video and share, you know, these things that I'm dealing with, but also that Autism Personal Coach helps so many people to deal with, um, to help them to um, deal with, you know, new, there, there's things that you want to do in your life. There's things you wish you can do, but you're just kind of afraid to take some of those steps or just having the support when you when you're taking those steps to kind of move forward with, with that thing that you're you know you that you're excited about you're passionate about so you know that's kind of why i wanted to start doing going on video a little bit more um and letting people know like hey these are things that autism personal coach you know we've been helping people for the last eight years with so definitely encourage you to um you know, book a free call with me. Um, I'll leave the link for that in the comments section. And, you know, let's just talk out, you know, what's what's the thing that you want to do, um, the thing that you want, the thing that you need. Um, and, you know, let's see if, you know, after that hour, we can maybe come with, up with a plan about how Autism Personal Coach can uh, help you get that thing. So, you know, I really appreciate anyone that stuck through these few minutes of rambling and uh, hope to uh, talk, with, talk with you soon.